afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Starfire's channel. Um, first of all, I want to apologize. It's been almost two weeks since I made a video. That's why I say hit that bell because I'm not one to have a set schedule. Um, you guys know I'm transparent. I've just been dealing with life in general. I've missed you all and I'm glad you're here. For those of you that this is your first time being on Starfire's channel, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, and more than anything, share my videos. If you want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me at star queen q u e e n. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, I said that wrong. Forgot the fire. S t a r f i r e q u e e n. Be for beautiful at gmail.com. Also, look for my um my Facebook channel. Okay, and that's Starfire Unique. Okay. <laughs> um, as y'all can see, I'm in my car. So, like I said, um, those that know me know that I'm very transparent. I'm in my car. And I'm going to do a quick video. Why am I in my car today? Because I needed to get out of the house. I needed to be with the elements. So I'm at a park with a beautiful lake. Um, you guys can't see the lake. It's on the side. There's boats running out. People in their little, what they call them, little boats that they can tip over that I won't get in. Um... I forgot what they call them, but they're little, they look like little cocoons or whatever, and I just wanted to be closer to Mother Nature today, so I'm going to do a quick video, I'm going to try not to, um, you know, be long-winded, because you guys know I am, <laughs> so let's get started, but I do want to share with you, I believe that what I'm speaking on today is not just for someone here, it is definitely for me. And like I said, you guys know who know me, who follows me, my subscribers. Hey, and we're at 109. Thank you for hitting that. I'm so thankful. I appreciate that. Now, look, I'm looking for 200, you know, and I can do a new intro because today you guys saw my very first new intro. Well, second intro, but this is the first one I've done. My son did my first one. Yeah, and he kind of like told me, um, I'm still your producer. So, yeah, he'll be doing the next one. <laughs> anyway, what the ancestors god uh, my deities my angels have given me to speak to you today is really for me first i'm not afraid to admit that and that's why i am the starfire queen because i am who i am so let's get started today we're going to talk about a very touchy subject okay the title of it is stop caring about what others think about you once again, stop caring about what others think about you. Okay, guys, now I got my notes. I'm still looking down. I'm just at the park with the elements enjoying Mother Nature. I'm telling you, it's so beautiful out here. Only thing I don't understand is having to cut the grass yet, and I'm not getting bit. Because when I get bit, I bruise like purple big bumps. Look like somebody didn't beat me with a stick or something. But it's gorgeous out here. And I want to say thank you to Mother Nature. Thank you to Mother Earth. You know, I thank Ashun for the water that's flowing next to me. I'm really excited about just doing my video here. And I really think this is what I needed today. God knows, always. And the ancestors will lead you and lead you to the right person you need in your life. And take you away from the wrong people in your life. Okay, once again, let's get started because I don't want to be long-winded. Stop caring about what others think about you. Ask yourself this question. Can you stop people from talking about you? Hell to the no. Not at all. Uh, my mom used to say, Rester, so when they stop talking about you, that's when you worry. Because as long as people talking about you, boo-boo, you're important. Either they want to be you, or they just love you, one or the other. Okay? Okay. Also then, why do you give a darn about what they think? Why do we give them our power? I've done it. You know, I'm guilty of this. I'm not going to sit here and preach you like, I've never done that. No. Um... Why do we care about what they say? Why do we give them that power? Why do we give them our lives? Believe it or not, if it's someone very close to you, you do everything to please them because you want them to think the, the greatest thing about you and yet you realize you've lost yourself, okay? Um, 10 reasons why you shouldn't care what others think, okay? The first one, it's not their life. Okay, so I'm going to read you guys what I have and then I'm going to elaborate on each one. It's not their life. So it's none of their business. People are entitled to think whatever they want. Just as you're entitled to think whatever you want. What people think 
of you cannot change who you are nor your worth okay it's your life they can't make you nothing they can't make you something only you can only i can and sometimes we get so caught up in relationships whether it's with your spouse with a lover with your mom with your dad even with your children we lose ourselves as individuals and i'm speaking to man and woman not just women okay so we need to figure out why in the hell are we giving them this power who says they have the right to have your power of your life of my life of the next person's life okay so you have to make choices you're gonna have to start making choices do i need this person in my life is this person doing something positive for my life are they helping me move forward in my life are they moving me backwards in my life are they building me up are they tearing me down you have to make a decision and we all make these decisions daily throughout our lives people want to be you may meet somebody at work and think they're cool and realize you know what that ain't the one i need to hang out with or you know it could be anything you may be in a relationship realize hey this ain't really me you know i'm losing me in this okay because why because we're so worried about what they think we're not thinking about what we think about ourselves okay um the second one they don't know exactly what's right for you now don't get me wrong people can give you their best guidance okay they can tell you hey i have some alternative ideas for you to look at that's cool thank you for that but you don't know exactly what's best for me the only time that i can say i knew what was best for someone was my kids when they were little i knew it was best for them not to touch that stove at all when it's cold or hot because if i allow them to touch it when it's cold they're gonna touch it when it's hot and they're gonna get burnt well that's how life is okay you're gonna touch something and you might get burnt so everyone doesn't know exactly what's right for you you do and sometimes you may fail doing what's right for you and that's okay because that's what god has intended for you to do you're destined to fall and get up because how can you cherish the high moments if you've never experienced the low okay i'd rather and i've told my children this um my daughter uh she is well was because she's out of school now i gotta remember she's a grown girl now um an honor roll student through school and when she would get a c she would call me crying she got her first c oh my god and she was struggling i believe it was science she was struggling really hard and i saw her studying and studying she's like mommy i gotta see you and her teacher's in the background can't you let me talk oh i said my baby name don't y'all say that anyway i i did i did let me talk to your mom okay so my daughter you know gets on the phone and um lets me talk to her teacher and the teacher's like, i don't know what to do it's a c but she's working really hard and i know she's working hard she did her best but to her she failed to me she succeeded because i saw her not giving up pushing as hard as she could to do her best and that's what you got to remember do your best not another's best fuck their best i'm gonna be there be there with you it, their best don't matter because they're not doing nothing for you what i say you know okay the second thing is what's right for someone may be completely wrong for you okay that someone may be completely wrong for you what's good for the goose ain't always good for the gander and it's okay to say you know what bump that I ain't on the page okay I like what you do for you but guess what I'm gonna like what I do for me because it's about time I take back what my motherfucking power that's what it's about taking back your motherfucking power and not giving a shit about what other people say y'all already know my channel says it's not for kids so I'm sorry okay number three I'm four I'm sorry it can and will keep you from your dreams you have these high expectations that people think what the hell is that that you'll never she'll never do that he'll never do that how the hell you know what i'm gonna do and what i can't do this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take back my power i'm gonna give my energy back from you and guess what watch me soar watch me meet my dreams because you became my nightmare did you hear that you became my nightmare which took me away from my dreams take back your dreams get rid of the nightmare the next one you're the one that's stuck at with the end results whatever happens baby it's on you it's on me we're stuck with it whether we soar whether we fall or whether we stay in the middle we are stuck not the people that's talking about you they have their own issues and a matter of fact the ones that want to tell you what you're always doing wrong what you can't do right what you can't do what you should do what you shouldn't have done what you should do all that bullshit you know what they need to look at their own life their personal life what you got going for you up here where are you you know because guess what you are somebody 
I am somebody. And God damn it, we're very important. Okay? The next one. People thoughts changes on a regular basis. They may see you today and be like, ooh, damn, that don't look right on her. Girl, mm-mm. Then the next day, they see you. Oh, that look cute on her. You know, well, she do look okay. You know what? I don't give a damn what you think. And I don't want you guys to give a damn about what people think. I'm short. I'm thick. I can't hide it. It ain't going nowhere. For a minute there, I start doubting myself. You know? But why? Because this is how God has made me. And if a motherfucker, I'm sorry you guys don't give a shit about how you look. You know, if they don't get, as long as you do, love yourself. I'm going to say this to my women. Get you some pretty panties and bras, boo-boo, and get in the mirror. Because you know what? Queen had to do it herself. Starfire had to start thinking, you know what? What the fuck is wrong with me? Why am I worried about my weight? Hmm. Only because I listen to what people say or their reactions to you. Let that shit go. Okay, you guys, hold on. I got to roll my window up. Now it's starting to rain. And it's still beautiful out here. It really is. Okay. The next one. Um, life is simply too damn short. Quick and to the point. They cannot have your life. Take back your life. I don't care if it's your spouse, if it's your significant other, if it's your mother. At a point, if it's your adult kids, take back your goddamn life. We have to take it back. Notice I'm saying we. Take it back. We own it. It's our life. And you guys know with me losing my mom in September, tomorrow's not fucking promised. I talked to my mom on a Tuesday. Okay. Talked to her Wednesday morning. My mom was gone Thursday. Okay. It's not promised. Take back your goddamn life. And hit me up and let me know. You know what, Starfire Queen? I took back my damn life. Or I'm taking it back. Okay. The next one. You don't reap what you sow, positive or negative. The people that's talking about you, they're going to reap it. The people that want to put you down, they're going to reap it. The people that want to see you fall, they're going to reap it. The people that don't want to lift you up, they're going to reap it. But guess what? The people that stand by your side, they're going to reap it. The people that lift you up, they're going to reap it. The people that love you unconditionally, they're going to reap that. Because you're going to reap it. I always tell you guys, karma, she comes two ways. Either as a lady or as a bitch. But guess what? She's coming. Okay, the next one. I just don't care as much as you think I care anymore. That's where we got to get. I don't care no more. When you get to the point where you know what? Fuck what you got to say. Fuck it. Can't make you happy, so let me make me happy. Fuck what you got to say. That's where we all need to get. You notice I'm saying we because I'm struggling with some shit my damn self. I'm real. Okay, that's why I love you guys. I'm not going to bullshit you like some of these other YouTube people get on here, the practitioners, witches, warlocks, whatever the fuck we want to call ourselves, because today I'm on one. Okay, acting like life is totally grand. It isn't. Life is fucking life for all of us. Okay, let's keep it 100. All right? I just don't care as much. And pretty soon you're going to go, you're going to be like, oh, I'm really not caring. Oh. Mm-mm. I really don't give a shit. I care about you. I wish you positive things in your life. I wish that your ancestors watch over you. The guardian angels keep you going. But guess what? I don't care no more. That's what we got to get. Because when we get to the point we don't care, that means we care about us. All right? And last but not e least, it's too fucking hard to try to please everybody. Stop. It ain't going to happen. I've learned that, and I'm learning it every day. Man, I y'all don't even know. Man, it's freaking ridiculous. And I can't please everybody. I can't. My kids, all five of them, they thank me for being the mother that I am. And they let me know that even though some of them get their own little shit going on, because they they human, they go they gonna learn. They gotta learn. They gotta stand on their own. I'm here to support them. They fall. Guess what? You gonna hit rock bottom, but I'm here to support your ass to get back up. But even through all that, they support me. You know, um, it don't matter what nobody think. It's too hard to please everybody. Please yourself. All right. Remember, this is Starfire Queen. And I guess I should have changed the title from um, Stop Caring About What They Think About. Is it Don't Give a Fuck About What They Think About? Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's it. <laughs>
Just fuck up. That's how I feel right now, you guys. I love you all. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell because I don't have a normal schedule to come on because I, I got too much of my life going on like that. Hit the like button if you like this. And subscribe. We had 109. Now my goal is pushing for 200 before the end of the summer. Hit that subscribe button. Share my video. Many, many blessings. And remember what Starfire says. Keep that third eye open so you can watch your surroundings. Keep your throat chakra open so you can speak positive things into your life. Keep your heart chakra open so that you can love yourself unfucking conditionally Love you guys. Many, many blessings.